Hello everyone, my name is Carly Cornish from Creatively Graphics and today I'll be showing you how I did the 3D modeling for the neck plate of my armor, also known as the Gorget. So first, again, you start out with the canvas or the sketch that you used. This is going to help you create a a more accurate sketch in the 3D modeling software. And first I'm starting out with making a line to make sure that the pieces that are going around my neck are going to be level. And then I go in next with the three point arc tool. The first point is where the arc is going to start. The second point that you select is going to be where it ends. And the third part is how deep or how curved the arc itself is going to be. So the first arc I created is going to be the bottom part of the neck plate and the next one I'm creating is where exactly the curvature is going to be for my neck. And then I'm just adding in the details that I want, um, the different levels and thicknesses. Like in this particular piece, the green and blue parts of the armor from the can from the um, image are going to be lower than the gold bronzy ones. There will be a dotted line when you try to make something parallel with something else. Like if you want um, a particular point of the armor to be in the exact same place on both sides, if you go from the first point of that, of the piece you already did, and scroll to the side, you'll get a dotted line and that will help you line everything up correctly. And now I'm putting a, another canvas in. This is going to be for the revised version of the symbol I want. Because as you can tell in the original canvas that I have on here, the symbols are different. So we're just scaling it to where I think the symbol looks good and the 3D model in the 3D modeling sketch that I already have. And then I'm just going to go through the process of using the three point arc tool and the circle tool and everything to put all the details in.
once everything is finished for the sketch wise you're gonna go up to the create menu and create a cylinder and that's going to be like the curvature of whatever body part you're putting on in this case it's going to be the kind of chest and shoulder neck area and you want to make sure that the cylinder itself is not only large enough for the particular area that you're going to be using it for but also that it's big enough to cover the entire sketch because if it is not different parts will extrude differently or some parts of the selection that you do will not come out correctly or at all. And then once you go into your sketch and you select the different parts that are all gonna be the same thickness, you're gonna hit E for extrude. And then you're gonna go um, for the start, under the start menu, you're gonna wanna hit object instead of profile plane. And then you're gonna wanna select the cylinder. And then under um, distance, you're gonna wanna just have one side. I mean, not distance, direction, you're gonna just have one side. And then distance is completely up to you. That's just depending on how thick you want this particular piece to be. And then under operation, you want it selected at new body, not join and not cut. You'll want new body or else it's gonna look really weird and not do what you want it to do. And once you have all the pieces extruded, then you can save the, make sure to save the file and then you can export it as an STL file, which you can then import into your slicing software of your choice. So that is it for today, guys. Um, please let me know in the comments or you can email me with any questions or feedback. I hope you guys have a great day.